Hi everyone, welcome to Software Testing Zone. Uh, this is part two for database testing real-time interview questions. So let us consider we are having a table employees, and uh, this is the data which we are having. I have added a couple of duplicate rows also. So let's start with our question number one. Question number one is write a SQL query to find alternate records in the database. Okay, so it's like first, third, fifth, seventh, like that, or second, fourth, sixth, like that. So the simple query, uh, query would be select star from employees where employee ID in select employee ID from employees where ID percentile 2 equals to 0. So what this condition will do is it will find a reminder. So basically if you divide 1002 by 2 then you will find reminder as 0. So it will fetch out all the records for which the reminder will be 0. So as the output, you will get 1002 and 1004. So these alternate records you will get. You won't get 1005, 1 and 3. These are duplicate records and these are odd employee IDs. So this way, we cannot have uh, these records. If you want to find 1st, 3rd, 5th, 7th, then this should be simply ID percentile not equals to 0. If we use this condition, then you will find 1, 3, 5 and 3. Okay, all the odd records you will find. Let's move to our second question. How to find duplicate records in the table? So we are having two records which are duplicated. 1001, 1003. Okay, so these are duplicate records. So a simple query would be that select employee name and employee gender. Any columns you can mention from employees. employees group by employee name employee gender having count employee name greater than one and count employee gender greater than one so whatever columns we have mentioned here uh, we can just find out if there are more than one employee name similar employee name so for example nitin is twice and suresh is twice so for this case it will be applicable and you will get this duplicated record instead of employee gender we can also use employee id this will be more feasible because gender are multiple m m m m so in this case you might get an error so now this query is useful okay employee name is greater than one and employee id is greater than one so by using this you we can find duplicate records one more query we can simply do is select count star comma emp id from employees group by emp id having count star is greater than 1 this query will also do and you will get the result as 1001 and 1003 as these are duplicate records okay <coughs> Our third question is write a SQL query to delete duplicate records. Delete duplicate records. Now to handle this question, we can have two approaches. Simply, we can find distinct records and create another view or another table. So the unique record will be saved into that table or that view and we can use that table and view for further filtering the data. Or second is we can treat this as a self join okay we have used here an inner join we can also use a self join and we can write a query delete even from employees even is nothing but analysis for that particular table inner join employees e2 where even dot emp id greater than e2 dot emp id and even dot emp name equals to e2 dot emp name so if if we understand the condition what we are doing is we are comparing we are comparing the name okay we are comparing the name so if these names are similar then it will delete one one of the record from that if this name is similar it will delete one of the record from that and it will keep another record so as the output you will get these five records now the record here is are unique or distinct we can say now let's move to the next question how you can find unique records use without using distinct and unique keyword 
okay so uh, we know that using unique and distinct keyword we can easily find out unique records but sometimes interviewer will ask that you don't have to use distinct and unique keyword so in that case how we can solve that using unique and distinct keyword the queries will be like this select unique emp id comma star so star will bring all other columns from employees or select distinct employee id comma star from employees so these queries are by using distinct and unique keyword now without using distinct and unique keyword we we have multiple approaches i am discussing two we can group by <clears throat> we can use group by clause so select employee id employee name from employees group by employee id and employee name so it will group the employee id and employee name okay and it will give you the records this way we can find unique record another way is by using set operator union by using union also we can find the unique records query will be select employee id employee name from employees union the same query will be here again okay so we are like joining that particular table with itself and by doing that we can easily get the unique records <clears throat> let's move to the next question so uh, this is again a very prominent question which been asked in your interviews so how to use case statement and where to use the case statement okay this is the question so uh, in the database based on any particular condition if we want to add any additional column with some messages okay now here the scenario is add column employee status based on salary so if we see initially we don't have employee status column right so this way we can add an employee status column as well <clears throat> so based on the uh, salary we are giving status to that particular employee so for example the condition is if employee salary is greater than okay we need to focus on the condition greater than not equals to so greater than 40000 then employee employee with p2 grade and if the uh, salary is less than 40000 then it will be employee with p1 grade so it works as a if and else statement or uh, if and else statement so simply we are having employee ids okay so what i am giving the condition when employee salary is greater than 40000 so first is it's equals to 40000 not greater than 40000 so it won't go with this status p2 grade what in else condition we are having employee with p1 grade so hence your employee is with p1 grade okay if we uh, focus on second record then employee salary is greater than 40 40000 because it's 45000 so it will assign a status as employee with p2 grade <clears throat> so these are some of the questions which i wanted to discuss with you guys and i will attach this document in the video description i will provide a link so you can download that document and you can practice these questions so it will be useful for you to crack your database interviews thank you very much for uh, joining please do subscribe thank you